Hello everyone, this is Carlo. There are some days when Carlo has things to do, and then there are days when Carlo doesn't have anything to do. On those days, he often finds himself feeling bored and looking for entertainment, and this sometimes gets Carlo into trouble. Well, we found something for Carlo to do on those days. Welcome to Chris King Tech Talk. Hello and welcome to the Chris King Tech Talk. I'm Carlo, the Senior Warranty Tech here at Chris King. The Tech Talk is where we're going to talk about what makes Chris King components special, some of the features, some of the behind the scenes, and all other things Chris King. On today's episode, we're going to unlock the mystery of the Grip Lock headset. We're going to talk about some of its patented design features, as well as what riders can benefit from it having one installed on their bike. So to help talk about Grip Lock, we've invited Phil, the engineer here at Chris King. Uh, welcome, Phil. How's it going, Carlo? Good, Phil. How are you? Doing well. Awesome. I'm Phil. I'm the engineer. So I do some finite element analysis. I do some material selection and optimization. Uh, a little bit of lab testing, design. Bring it down a little bit, maybe? No, no, you're good. No, no. All right. I design product yeah. and make sure it works. Thanks for joining me today. Before we get into talking about grip lock specifically, I wanted to talk about headsets in general specifically like what is a threadless headset that we're going to be talking about today? Perfect. So the headset is a bearing assembly on the front of your bike. Mm -hmm. right, it's got a couple tasks, jobs. Uh, one is to hold your fork to your frame, and the other one is to allow you to steer nice and smooth. So Chris King headsets are pretty ubiquitous. Um, you can see them on show bikes all around the globe, um, even some professional race bikes. The, what, what makes them a current Chris King headset unique? About 10 years ago, we created a, a system called Grip Lock, mm -hmm. which took those two tasks of holding the fork to the frame and, and allowing you to steer smoothly and separated out those tasks from a single item to multiple items. This is a Grip Lock headset. So let's explain a little bit of what these pieces are. Yeah. So you got a bearing cap. We have a bearing cap. Right. Very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, it's meant to take the load and push it down through a path to load your bearings. Right. There's an O-ring here. There's an O-ring in ours. This O-ring here is, is a dust seal. It's just meant to make sure everything stays out of there. Right. Our O-ring acts as a dust seal, but also has some other purposes that when we dig into this, we, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Yep. Um, but where ours kind of separates is this split wedge that was doing the two tasks. We now have two items, each one of them doing its own task. Right. So we have a bearing ring and a split ring. First, we'll go through the load and the bearings, right? So you got that whole concept, tightening everything up. Mm -hmm. And as you're tightening this up, you can see now we have this bearing ring. So right. this is a solid piece of steel. There's no split in it. It's just a big ring. So all of the force is coming through. You squeeze this, squeezing that, loading your bearing, loading the bottom bearing. It's completely separate from tightening up the steer. Oh, uh, okay. This guy, this split ring, again, like a collet, like that one, but the only force on it is a much more controlled force based on this O-ring. So that O-ring is pushing that split ring down and just squeezing it right around that steer. Our split ring, its only job is to take care of supporting the steer tube, centering it about the head tube. So delegating those tap two jobs that we talked about earlier into two separate parts, the better do the job. Absolutely. Well, thanks for explaining all of that here. Um, it's a little abstract, so maybe we could look at it on a real headset. So I have here a little cutaway of a, of a head tube of a bike. Start up on top with your stem cap and your bolt. That's the, where you're going to preload the bearings. Mm -hmm. So at, underneath that guy, you have your bearing cap, which is usually assembled with all these parts inside of it. Yep. So you get your little energizer O-ring, energizing O-ring, which is the force acting on your split wedge, which is squeezing in your steer. Underneath that, you got your bearing ring, which is the solid piece of steel that's taking all that force and loading in your bearings properly. So then you have your upper bearing, and you have your lower bearing, and underneath that, you got a base plate go back to some of the issues we saw, right? right. So back in the day, as bikes were getting longer travel, right. they were seeing higher shock loads on their forks and onto the bearing assemblies. Over here, the split wedge just slowly got a little bit tighter and tighter and tighter. Mm -hmm. And when it did that, your bearing cap was no longer adjusted. Your bearings were no longer adjusted. Right. And you weren't having an even load on your bearings. So you'd see premature bearing failure, your headset, kind of rocks back and forth. You yeah, get that you little, little play. Yeah. Yep. In this system over here, by separating this off to the side, it's allowed us some movement. So if this guy is doing that thing, you have a little bit of, of evening force by having a spring in there and it not being this just smashed down 
right. depending on it to do both. It's allowed to move just enough that it's not jamming itself back in there. And it's not coming out of adjustment because again, the only force is that spring. Yeah, I can definitely see that that's a great like a part of buying some of our products. Well, thanks, Phil. Um, that was really informational. It was nice to see all the different pieces of what actually makes a grip lock headset different from a standard threadless headset. Hopefully the viewers uh, were able to grasp some stuff and really understand why this is what we believe to be a better product. Thanks, Phil. All right, have a good one. See ya. Right. Thanks for watching the Chris King Tech Talk. I've been Carlo. Hope you guys learned something. Please stay tuned for future episodes. It looks like I gotta find something to do until we film the next one.